Well, folks, the meltdown in the gaming industry is truly wild, and the heterophobia from these woke devs and journalists is off the charts. Now, this is something that we covered the other day, but what if I tell you there is more? There is more, guys, that this just does not end. And I also, I also do want to show you this interview that has been done with Stellar Blade director, and you're going to see a stark difference between him and what the woke journals and woke devs in the West uh, here are, are literally doing right now. Like the video if you just want good games without the woke BS. Dislike the video if you think there are billions and billions of genders. But guys, let's actually get right into it. So just the other day, we heard that Microsoft cautioned devs to avoid curvy <laughs> female characters. And and this is something yeah that's going around right and obviously we got receipts out here as well this is stellar blade so they're apparently using like a real female actress actress right to make their stellar blade character and they're saying this is like you know whoa this is way too out there we we don't want to have it right we can have a fairly we can have exaggerated bbc bundles but we cannot have good and decent attractive looking female characters but what if i tell you apparently now we have the quadring the quadring responds or uh, tweets this out me the global head of marketing for xbox so kelly now kelly is not like a rando right she's not a random person on the streets she's apparently the global head of marketing and in before we have xbox fanboys uh, getting mad here guys this is not about xbox this is not about playstation these are plastics these are consoles that we all play games on it's not about that it's about the people behind that are making these decisions that are mudding the waters and that are purposely trying to inject woke politics in it and make games bad and also call gamers toxic as well literally that's what's happening it's not about xbox being bad or playstation being bad okay she actually went ahead and uh, started being strong independent and said that raise your hand if you're not a white man and you buy video games no hate to white dudes it's just another game in the gaming industry that minorities have to fight to prove they exist to which uh, the quadrant responded by saying ban uh, and wait for the video i gotta show you as well ban white women from position of power in gaming immediately their path of destruction is well documented <laughs> I would say, I, I would say, like, the liberal white women should not be in charge of making games, okay? Unless they are passionate and they know what gamers want, they should not be working on games. They should not be the head, global head of marketing for Xbox. I mean, no wonder why games are going downhill. And she then deleted, backtrack, and then closed comments uh, by, and they respond by saying, I deleted my last tweet because it was poorly worded, lacked context, and didn't act really reflect how I feel. You literally said, uh, you know, raise your hands if you're not a white man uh, and you buy video games. No hate towards white dudes. Uh, it's just another day in the gaming industry. Where, like, come on, like, you, you guys clearly hate white people, right? And it's coming from a white woman. It, uh, I'm pretty sure she identifies a, a, as an attack chopper, right? Or something Bruh. like that. But it says that the gaming industry is incredibly diverse and more voices we have creating, watching, and playing games, the better. There's room for there's room for everyone. Now, if you don't believe the lies, uh, another guy came out and said that Xbox, y'all cool with this, been a fan for decades, but no more. These people are so racist and sexist against white men, it's insane. All those years, they called other people that was just a massive, massive projection lol and everybody's just going crazy but first of all let me actually play you this video roll it so recently there's been a lot of discussion about female character types in terms of their design and a lot of people have been praising stellar blade because they are featuring what a lot of gamers want and that is an attractive female yeah. main yeah. protagonist and yep. the developers for and the directors from shift up the studio responsible for stellar blade have been unapologetic about their focus on the attractiveness of this character and also fan service shots of this character. They want to create something that gamers want to see, something yep, that yep, is beautiful. Yep, gamers. Now, of course, Cook Brutus here gives us a very <laughs> helpful walk yeah. into today's main topic. Which yeah. way, Western man? Do you want to go with the attractive design of characters like Eve from Stellar Blade? No, nah, bro, like, we, you know what? We want the really like listen man y'all suck is gonna, gonna have like bbc bundles which is fine okay have bbc bundles but also have like some attractive characters microsoft it's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna hurt anybody uh, depression is gonna go down okay suck is gonna enjoy the game <laughs> and all that bro like what the hell is happening in gaming bro? you want this disturbing new standard wait for it wait apparently for it. is going to be more of the mainstream moving forward now what is this standard well, let's check it out. It is covered in this tweet stating, Microsoft urges developers not to create female characters with 
exaggerated body proportions on their official site to support game devs. Site is titled as Product Inclusion Action Help Customers Feel Seen. Yeah. Holy yeah. moly, that sounds like something that would be a conference at the latest game developers convention yeah. that was hosted in- They were like literally screaming at the sky at the GDC, bro, like it was- California last week. This is the epitome of woke. This is game developers and their bosses, basically, telling you that these character designs like Eve and yeah. the real life woman she's based on are something that is exaggerated, exaggerated and unrealistic yeah. and something that should- well, well, I gotta say, meet the friendly UAV online. You know, this is a friendly UAV online. I mean, if you do not spot it, bro, I don't even wanna point at it. <laughs> Listen, I'm a brown man. Per, uh, ethnically, I'm brown. I have a BBC myself, okay? Yeah. But, but, and listen, I'm not against it, but it's like, dog, you can have, you know, characters like that, but why can't you have female, good looking, or, yeah, decent, good looking female characters, rather than that, you know, they, them, uh, fable character that, that's apparently a biological man, man, with, like, girl, woman clothes on, right? You, you, okay, you can have that too, but, like, like, damn, like, can a brother also get, like, female representation? I mean, I would say this is a little bit sexist. This is misog misogyny. This is misogyny, right? Like, can a brother perhaps see, like, an actual female character for once in, like, a new game right now? Not be shared with gamers. This is from from Western devs. Uh, because, yeah, uh, we're going to be having, like, a female, a good-looking, decent-looking female character from Stellar Blade in, in a new game. But I'm talking about, like, from Western devs. It's absolutely outrageous and something that is made to solely impress woke developers and their bosses not gamers who actually appreciate designs yeah. like eve yeah now of course we're talking about microsoft who only a few weeks ago on their appreciate sure you subscribing man thank you my brother and right before i dive into it and show you the interview as well guys i want to say like obviously you guys know that i have a second channel this is where we upload ufo content and conspiracy content but now we have another channel this is schizzle too uh, i would love to have you it would be a pleasure to have you definitely subscribe we're uh starting another channel as well it would be a pleasure to have you there too roll it Get official back to content. xbox account was hounding after sexualized male character designs however we've seen this policy in action from microsoft over the years at least in regards to female video yeah. game character designs we've seen how court yeah like back in the days it was curvy but now like look at the 2021 version like all box like it's all boxy bro they're standing like standing there like a man as well Hana has been changed over the ages from a more curvy design to what we see here from the latest release in 2021. Now, moving forward, Niche Gamer would make an article capturing this entire situation, stating Microsoft cautions developers to avoid curvy female video game characters. Story below. Now, if you yeah, check out the article, below. it says this. The site uh -oh. titled as Product Inclusion Action Help Customers Feel Seen Brand. includes a bullet list of considerations they urge developers to make when working on their product. One Twitter user pointed out the language expressly condemning certain female characters as, as reinforcing. reinforcing negative gender Bruh. stereotypes. Now, let's see that tweet in question. It says this. Dog, like, maybe, you know what? Like, having a decent, attractive-looking female character in the game would inspire the youth and inspire the, the, the gamers to, like, you know, try to level up their character in real life as well and be better as well because whenever i see a strong athletic man i'm like bro like i need to work out more <laughs> i need to get I, I need to get me some push-ups done right maybe if they have like a strong female character a good strong female not just like strong independent hey, 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 hey. not that i want to see an actual true unwokeified version of strong independent i would love to see a strong and independent female character but a female character not a uh, like a a wet version of they them or some like that or the the wokeified version of that nah bro it, it, apparently like if you have a good character it's gonna inspire the youth this is from microsoft's new gaming for everyone production inclusion framework Dying this is the song that didn't doesn't end it's been like 10, ten years, years and they're still, still complaining about video game boobs Bruh. you can see this actual Bruh. quote saying are you reinforcing any negative gender stereotypes? Here's the bullet points. Are you unnecessarily introducing gender and gender barriers into your code or design? 
are you creating playable female characters that are equal in skill and ability to their male peers and highlighted are you are your female characters equipped Game devs with like clothing and armor that fits their tasks do they have exaggerated body proportions and going forward when the story allows do you show male characters who display a full range of emotions including joy sadness and vulnerability now of course we see the most important section about this exaggerated body proportions now here is a slow-mo <laughs> provided of eve from stellar blade now would they consider this to be exact okay like yeah i get it like the suit is like a little bit yeah it is but other than that that's not even exaggerated that's how like a normal uh, and apparently like that's a normal female and that's uh like they took it from an actual actress an actual model uh right but yeah the clothing is uh, yeah i get it but without the clothing it's not even exaggerated that's normal exaggerated body proportions likely based on the design of this character and the kind of woke terminology that they're using at microsoft it probably does fall under these exaggerated body for proportions it. however as most of you are probably already aware since we've covered it on this channel the design yeah, of this eve one. is based yeah. on a real life korean model they made a 3d scan of this model so quite literally it is a realistic body type and they'll probably label something like that as unrealistic because that's the way people like microsoft are now moving forward yeah, we've seen some oh, other examples man, of companies bro. like pokemon go yeah, like I heard people talk about like Pokemon when woke as well. <laughs> oh, man, like, what the hell is happening in gaming? Yeah, li listen, man, y'all can have representation. It's y'all can have diversity. It's beautiful, right? That's strong, man. Yeah, diversity is beautiful. Yeah, have that, but like forced diversity is like another thing completely, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, okay, you can have representation, but like, damn, homie. Like, don't change, like, past characters, right? And, and don't make, like, every character, like, every female character, like, she's standing there like a man, fully, full boxy. Look at that! Like, box, like, they have, like, <laughs> they, they gave her, him, like, the love handle right there, Bruh. too. Like, had her eat, like, 20 pounds of McDonald's every single day, and now she be looking like a he right now. And a sister apparently became a brother. Bruh, 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 bruh. I mean, bruh. bruh doing some ESG approved moves as they yeah. have added more they gave her testosterone yeah. options for characters like this so let's read this tweet Pokemon Go company is ESG approved, approved. 2024 changes change the visceral cranium oh, of the man. female remove chest what? modify hip expand chin yo I didn't even recognize that bread <laughs> yeah you see the chest as well yeah the chest is gone too yeah, so they uh, apparently they, they turned her into like a they them man, right? Broaden their shoulders, delete makeup. The industry has been pushing androgyny, yeah, uh, specifically like, oriented like to male features for years. They hate women. So here's the before and after, of course, making this character much more boxy looking and really just kind of bland looking. And this is real. It's a part of their testing app and changes will depend on feedback from social media. It's not made up, and depending on your location, you might see these options or not. Yeah. Now, that is very curious. It's I, very I, I suppose in the Middle East, it's not gonna be that bad, or maybe it's gonna be like, this is a character, they don't have like any flags here, so maybe it's gonna be fine there, right? Uh, and apparently, I did hear this like, the 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 middle eastern version of spider-man i'm not sure was was it like spider wars the movie or or spider-man 2 the game i'm not sure about it but in the middle east they didn't have the flag there right can a brother get the middle eastern version right now very odd and really eyebrow raising to people like me when these changes are being only introduced to certain regions now is it better than a global release like we've seen with other changes in censorship maybe but it's also very nefarious that they are just picking and choosing regions to apply these changes to without even yeah, fully yeah. disclosing where these regions are yeah 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 yeah. but yeah. moving forward if you yeah i suppose i suppose i could obviously could be wrong right but i suppose like the character is probably gonna be curvy in the middle east but probably gonna be boxy here in the west right like yeah that's uh bruh at Thank the you for actual website that microsoft is promoting you can see some of these quotes on here that are very, very odd. So yeah. they say this right here. 80% of media is consumed, 80% of media consumed by the world is created in the United States. And yet most media, including video games, 
doesn't contain characters and content that align to that broad, broad consumer. consumer. And you can see some statistics that they cite down here. 50% of players in the broader gaming market didn't play certain games because the games weren't made for them, over half of the global gaming market. 53% of developers felt diversity in story- Like dog, okay listen mate. Gamers can give a F about diversity. Gamers really don't care. Gamers just want a good game. That's it. Whether it's a man, a female, we don't care. We just ask you to make good games. Stop pushing po politics, whether th those are woke politics, whether those are like actual like politics. We don't want none of that crap in our games. We just want a good game. Good story, good characters, and if it makes sense, you have diversity. We're not opposed to diversity, we just don't like it when y'all force diversity and you change old characters and make them or or you turn them around like we saw, like that, that female chick, uh, apparently now it's not even a female, you, you still just gave her a testosterone shot. Right? We're not opposed to diversity. We're just opposed to all the woke bull bullcrap and Yusuke is changing and ruining past and uh, past characters that you didn't need needed to change, you know? Storytelling should be a priority and it was ranked as the third most important factor in industry growth. 41% of retail consumers have shifted 10% or more of their business away from brands that do not reflect their own value in diversity. What? what? 41% of retail consumers have shifted 10% or more of their business away from brands that do not reflect their value in diversity and inclusion. Bumbo. Bumbo and inclusion. Now that's Bumbo. very odd because we know that a lot of very successful games have not relied on the race of the character even being relevant. Think about Halo, for example, hey. okay? Let's talk about Xbox related games. The reason Master Chief was so beloved for many, many years was because oh, man, nobody I'm... knew the identity of Master Chief. Everybody related to the character because that character could be anyone. It could be them, it could be someone else, it could be this skin, this type of skin, or whatever. It didn't matter because it was Master Chief. You believed in the character. And despite what the Paramount Plus show might do by revealing the identity of Master Chief, that's one of the reasons why that character was wait so beloved and so popular I think we're getting down to for so many years. Interview. And I don't really believe a lot of these statistics, and really, that's fair to say, because a lot of these studies right here that are used as references have been oh, openly man. memed on and criticized for many years. And that's pointed oh, out in man. this thread right here. So based on some of the statistics shared in those studies, as this user points out, this study You'll notice it, cities, uh, the Nuzo Studio study twice, okay, Nuzo study twice. This is a study that, if its numbers are correct, would mean that 20 million gamers have been swatted. Okay, bumble bumble. If the numbers are correct, it would mean that 20 million gamers have been swatted as results of X, Y, or Z. Basically, the toxic gaming culture. That doesn't seem to add up. Yeah, there's some very extreme circumstances like that happening. But really 20 million gamers have had this happen that's I wild but guys let me actually show you guys the interview real quick so this one is coming from uh the director of stellar blade and you're gonna see a stark difference roll it what is the game to you uh, what is the game to you to me game is everything he said truly passionate guy what a guy kim shout out to you everything Question mark. I have no hobbies other than making games, he said. Oh, I'm a game developer. Yes, so I find it more fun to make games than to play games, he said. Because it's everything in my life. I can't take it lightly. So this guy truly, you know, truly cares about games. Uh, like, you know what I mean? That's what game means to me. It's the most fun moment. Fun moment. Anyway, I'm going to pour everything into Stellar Blade and... Damn, homie. Yeah, he really did pour everything. <laughs> he really so I don't think it's very surprising everything. that the product they are working on at Shift Up, yeah. Stellar Blade, is a product that is reflecting some very good intentions behind the directors creating it. It is something yeah, very truly. positive. There is a reason why people are so excited for Stellar Blade. It yeah. is providing content that gamers want that reflects the wants of the directors and developers, and this is a cohesion of those wants and needs, and it's exploding in popularity. Stellar it shouldn't Blade be w that surprising. It's a simple formula. Give gamers 
what they want. Yeah. And be passionate about providing those needs. And that's We it. just want good games, dog. That's simply where it's at. No politics, no walk politics, no politics either. Good games, good characters, good story, good gameplay, and good progression. That's all what we want. And guys, recently, we apparently had this uh, happen as well, where Dr. Disrespect went apparently wild. He just broke his character, and he actually went crazy. Click on this video on the screen. On the left, though, this video is on my second channel, the new one. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.